Welcome back to our competition in the category of general knowledge. Our current champ, Dwayne Myers, in the booth. In a moment, we'll be going for $1,000 right now. Sound off in his booth. Okay, Lanny Leibowitz, today's questions all have something to do with flowers. First, the symbolic representation of an iris is the national emblem of France. What is this symbol called? You have five seconds. The symbol called? Mm -hmm. It's the fleur de lis. Oh. Yes. Second, what flower is in the title of the 1922 Anne Nichols comic play, later a novel, radio program, and movie, about the marriage of a Jewish boy and an Irish Catholic girl? Abe's Irish Rose. That's right. Rose, of course, was the flower. That's good. So that's one for two. Here's your third question. This small, colorful flower bears the same name as Porky Pig's cartoon girlfriend. What is it called? Petunia. Yeah, that's it. Petunia. All right. Two for three. Fourth and final question now. In the 1957 Marty Robbins hit, what flower is paired with, quote, a white sport coat, unquote? A pink carnation. Yes, sir. You did it, Lanny. That's three for four. Very good. All right, let's go over now to Dwayne Myers. Sound on, please, in Dwayne's booth. Well, Dwayne, uh, we gave Lanny a four-parter. Gave us three correct answers. Oh, I yeah. expected four the way you... Oh, did you? Well, over here. three. <laughs> okay, so three will tie and uh, give you the $1,000. And four, of course, will make you the sole champ. Today, these questions all have something to do with flowers. First, the symbolic representation of an iris is the national emblem of France. What is this symbol called? <clears throat> the fleur de lis. Yes, sir, there's one of them right there. Two more to go for $1,000. What flower is in the title of the 1922 Ann Nichols comic play, later a novel, radio program, and movie, about the marriage of a Jewish boy and an Irish Catholic girl? Yep. It's Abe's Irish Rose. That's it. Rose is the answer. Two for two. One more, and you've got a tie. This small, colorful flower bears the same name as Porky Pig's cartoon girlfriend. What is it called? Petunia. Yes, sir. There's a tie. One more, and you alone will be the champ at $1,000. In the 1957 Marty Robbins hit, what flower is paired with, quote, a white sport coat, unquote? You have five seconds. It sounds like we named that tune. I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> five seconds are up. All right, they are up. That was a pink carnation. We have a tie, though. You got your thousand bucks. Come on over here. <laughs> I can name that flower in four notes. <laughs> I did too. Lanny Leibowitz, you earned $200. Congratulations you. to you. And Dwayne, $1,000 for you. Happy New Year to both of you, Happy gentlemen. You. Thank you very much. Thank Lanny Leibowitz and Dwayne Myers, thank you. All right, next TV trivia, returning champ, John. This former New York City cab driver was the trivia champ of the University of Toledo in 64, Randy Kaplan. Hello, Randy. Welcome back. $500 to have. Let's see if you want to go for $1,000. Listen to this about your challenger. This former cabbie and freelance comedy writer has been an avid TV fan since he was three years old. It's Dusty K. So what do you say, Randy? You want to keep the five and say goodbye, or you want to risk it and go for $1,000? Against the former cab driver, I have no choice. I must go for it. That's right. Okay, bring on that former cab driver. Well, I already said it, but it is Dusty K. There he is. Were you also a former cab driver? Yes, and I'm still alive, too. Yeah. <laughs> Where, Dusty? I was a cab driver in New York. I in was, New York? I was number 17. You were number 17? Yeah, what was, was your my, number in New York? Cab. 68. 68. The street I lived on. <laughs> Worked out very fortuitously. 68th Street you lived right. on? Terrific. Okay. Write me there. It's Dusty K against Randy Kaplan. TV trivia right after this. <laughs>